Hey, Yuka, stop snoring. Hey, I'm recording. Hey. Oh. Hey, guys, what's up? Peter here. For today's tutorial, we're going to learn on how to animate a GoRFX preset plant with a wind modifier. So after that one, we're going to add some point cache to it to record animation so we can convert it to a Corona animated proxy. So let's get started. All right, so I just opened up a GrowFX plant. It's already a preset plant from Max3. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a wind animation. Hey, you go. Stop snoring. That was my dog. Um, yeah, so we're going to add an animation on the leaves and on some branches. On this plant or on this bush so what we're gonna do is if you click this icon here the GrowFX icon it will appear the plugin so you need to buy GrowFX in order to make this um, animation which is this website here So you can see a lot of infos from here and the uh, plant libraries or where you can buy some preset uh, plant libraries or trees. They, ha they have some links there. So, so for this one, let's get started with it. Um, I'm just going to make it into a line first. So that it won't be that heavy. And I'm just gonna uncheck those ones and I'll show you later. So this one's just about animation, not creating a plant from scratch. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click this one, highlighted paths mode. So it's gonna highlight which one were selected. So that's branch one. So we're gonna add a wind here. So let's go to direction modifiers and then we're just going to add a wind animation modifier and then we'll set this one to um, let's say 1000 and flexibility to We're just gonna manual update it for now so that it won't keep updating. This one will be maybe around 20. Alright, let's see. So right now there's nothing happening because we haven't created a wind yet. So let's create a wind and there is still the same um, direction modifiers. Let's create a wind. Right, and then let's rename this one to branch let's say big branch okay and let's go back to our graphics plant and let's pick this wind here let's just make Or it's still not happening. There's nothing happening because I think pick it again. Oh, because it's not updated yet. Sorry about that. Yeah, it needs it needs to be updated. See, so. If I hide those branches, yeah. So right now we're seeing this one. Let me just play by hitting the key here, the play button for this one. That one's too much, so maybe just 10.
make it 2000. And make it five. So you play around on the stiffness and flexibility. I think that is fine. Maybe let's say three thousand. Yes, yeah, more softer wind. So let's add another wind on the second, not this branch, but maybe So that's the first one. This one doesn't have. What is it? All right, let's go for this uh, branch tree. Let's add another wind parameter. And then let's create another wind. And then let's rename this to small branch and let's set this one to maybe 200 the wind speed let's go back to the graphics and let's pick that one So every time this one's unchecked the manual update, it keeps on updating every time you add something or move. So let's say we'll do 2000 for the stiffness, so it will have a smooth sway and the flexibility will be like uh, the fastness of the swaying, so maybe just um, 3. And let's hide those other branches. Hope this one. So there's a little bit of animation there, but not much. See, there's a little bit movement on that area, in this area. Besides this one. Which is the branch two, I think. Oh no, the branch one. So branch two is not one. We can still add. I think we can copy the the wind modifier through that one. Copy and then um, paste. Yeah, so it should add the the wind that we added on branch two. Let's play it again. I think it's fine. Now let's go to the leaf. We'll skip branch four and branch five. Let's just go to the leaf. And then we're going to add, can just duplicate this, name it leaves. All right, go back to grow effects. And then, so you're on the leaf path. We're going to add, um, the wind modifier and then pick since we already duplicated the one so we'll just pick it up and then we'll just pick it 
This should be right to a day now. And now I'm just going to add some stiff flexibility to it. So what we want to achieve here is uh, moving leaves and a swaying. So as you can see, one but we'll have a smooth um, swaying of the leaves. So we'll just make it 1000. So, I'm not sure if we can see it through the. Yeah, if it keeps on updating, should be fine. Let's cancel it. We'll make it another 2000 for the stiffness. So, there will be more swaying, fast swaying on the, on the leaves path. So right, we're, right now we're going to turn it to meshes and then turn off manual update and then update. And uncheck this one. All right, so we're just going to preview our, our bush animation now. So what you'll do is uh, click steady shift and V for the preview and choose custom range and since since we're already in a 250 frame it's all good and then set it to 25 and let's just go for shaded texture and percent of up output is 15 and let's create the preview animation oh Sorry. So what's happening there, if you don't have any idea about the transferring of the wind animation, it calculates every, every frame. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cancel this. Stop and don't play. Update. Hmm. So, so we're going to move all the wind modifiers that we did to the after mesh builders. So let's say, let's say for the trunk branch, we didn't do one, only the branch one we have. So we're just going to copy that modifier and then paste it here on that after mesh modifiers. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna cancel that one because it keeps on updating. So we'll delete the one in the direction modifier. Oops. And then it just keeps on updating. This one also, so on branch two we have, so we're just gonna copy modifier and then paste it here. And then delete that one. And then branch tree, copy, and then paste it after mesh modifiers, and then delete modifier. And then branch four, we didn't make what we didn't make any wheel animation. Branch five, nothing. So on the leaf path. We're going to copy and then paste. This one's we're going to delete. All right. So let's uncheck manual update and I will update the settings that we transferred to the after image modifier. All right. So we can now um, preview our animatic. So shift V again and then create. I'm not sure if it's moving, but I think it's not. 
Hmm, what's happened there? I'm pretty sure set up. Let me just double check. Maybe I missed something. Was it updated? Oh yeah. Okay, so because I didn't update it, that's why. So let's see. So let's um, do a preview again. Sorry about that. So always update your um, GrowFX file because sometimes if you cancel the create path, it will automatically check the manual update. So just don't forget to update it, uncheck the manual update and then click update. So yeah, this might take some a little bit of time to do animatics, especially if you're animating a tree, not bushes, or it depends on how many leaves in it or how many branches in it and how many frames are you going to to make so as you can see the leaves are not moving pretty good so we're just gonna I think the Movement of the branches are okay, but the leaves are a little bit not moving. It's pretty stiff. So what we're going to do is we're going back to the leaf and then go to After Image Modifiers since we already copied that one here. And we'll tweak it um, to 80, 80, I think. And then 1000. And then we'll make the wind of the leaves much um, stronger. Yeah, like that one. So let's say, let's go back to Grow Effects, Plant Update. Always update, and then. All right, let's do another preview. Shift V. 25 frames and yeah there's no animation again maybe it's not updated again so we need to update update all right okay again this is taking a lot of time to and I made a bush. It's a trial and error thing with Grower Effects. So make sure you always save your file. And yeah, take a lot of time on setting the, the wind animation on each branch. Since it's going to be pretty heavy when you do all the animation on each um, path. So usually when we do animation for trees or plants, we just do around 200 frames maximum. Alright, so now you can see the leaves are now swaying. But still, that's pretty strong wind, I think. I think that's fine. So let's say we're all good with this one since this tutorial is um, is also about uh, adding point cache to it and then converting it to corona animated proxy so let's say we're all good 
since I think it's decent enough for a uh, animation of the bush with the with the wind that looks like um strong gust of breeze so we're just gonna add a grow effects uh, no a point cache here so just click the grow effects file again and then go to modifier list modifier point cache All right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, uh, get a new point cache which is um, what's that one which is this one and then select point cache two files let's say just bush one pc2 and then we're gonna click record so it will record all the 0 to 250 frames So let's hope it won't crash. All right, so it did produce the frames from zero to 250. And now we have a point cache. So if you look at the file, it produces the point cache of 600 MB of uh, 250 frames. All right, so what we're gonna do after is we're gonna copy the point cache and then convert it to mesh so right click convert it to mesh and then paste the grower effects i mean the uh, point cache that we copied because because it already stored the pc2 that we <coughs> that we recorded so once you run the slider it records everything even if it's already a editable mesh so now we can convert it to a corona animated proxy and we're just gonna go through the corona proxy exporter which is this one <clears throat> and then select export each node to separate proxy and then animated from zero to 250 <clears throat> sorry I'm having a itchy cough itchy throat all right so so yeah check animated and then 0 to 250 and then on Peter just name it anything you want and then we'll just preview it as full mesh X or on this one we're just gonna select on the um, on the grow effects plant so select your folder where you want want it to be placed for the proxy and then export selected You can do a batch render of the Corona animated proxy if you have multiple um, grow effects in, in the same max file. But for now, we're just showing off uh, one grow effects file. So it, it will still load up in here. So this one is just reading, <laughs> converting the into a Corona proxy for that um, bush. So yeah, those are the tips on making um, um, 
animated plans in GoreFX. So from adding wind and then adding some point cache, recording the point cache, and then now we're making it into a Corona animated proxy, which is really useful on animations because you don't need to use the original GoFX file. It's not heavy in the scene. I might pause the video. I think it's fine. So next tutorial, I think I'm gonna, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna make a video again for this particular tutorial, but this time it's gonna be a tree, not a plant anymore. And then we're gonna talk about a meta mesh on how to convert high poly trees, high poly GoFX trees with meta mesh that we can make it into a low poly um, GoFX trees that, that is animatable because those trees that are made with meta mesh can is impossible to be animated it's too heavy so there are some ways to optimize it so yeah don't forget to uh, visit x level or GrowFX website so they have some nice um, links there for plant libraries like max tree gold plants and this um is it, uh, yeah this park where you can buy some preset trees and you can they even have sets of animations there also so i made this tutorial because i haven't seen any in youtube something like this tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial for all uh, beginners and advanced. Um, yeah, so, because it's hard sometimes to, to call this, um, um, play around with the settings that you don't know, but luckily I found, find out this, this ones. And I've been asking the admin also from X level for some help. And they they have a pretty good customer service. All right. So now we have a Corona animated proxy. So you can see here. And then from zero to 25 frames, I think. Yeah, it, that's the seconds, eight, eight second animation. So you can point cloud. So yeah, now we have a full pro, uh, corona animated proxy tree of bush. Now let's say we'll do a preview again. So these ones are already all disregarded. Just remember that each um, GoreFX model, <laughs> like any tree or any branch, I mean any bush or any plant, has its own parameters. So the winds that you created is um, won't gonna work on the same. Um, on, I mean on other uh, GoreFX uh, presets. So you have to redo it again, add wind and add wind uh, parameters and tweak the stiffness and the flex uh, flexibility. Now uh, this one is uh, overkill for the frames that we did. Usually we'll just go around from zero to um, zero to 200.
Alright, almost there. Hey, you call. Yeah, I think it's fine for a, a little bit of strong breeze. This one will do. So how many seconds? Yeah, eight seconds is is too much. Usually, when you do cinematic flight tours, it's just around six seconds is enough. I think. So I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. And for the next video, we're gonna talk about MetaMesh on how to optimize a high poly RFX plant. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page because I'm gonna post a video there where you can comment or ask any questions about the GoRFX tutorial that I made today. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to see more new video tutorials. See you in the next video.